I am mighty Keith. Well, now this is different. <laughs> now you're probably asking yourself, Keith, what's up with the layout? I mean, you, what do you, why are you using your webcam? Where's your DSLR? Is it broken? No, silly. That is not the case. Why would it be broken? It's broken. So that sucks. But what's good is it's only the, uh, what's it called? Microphone, which I can interchange like so. So while I'm buying a new microphone on Amazon, which good enough, they should be here in the next day or two, I can always still use this, but the audio from the regular camera, I just never really liked. So we're gonna talk to you today using my beautiful uh, something Scarlet something. Now, thankfully I've been blessed with a large, large following this year, uh, out of nowhere. I think YouTube gave me my analytics, it was like, close to 300,000 subs I got in just this year alone. And and that is amazing. Um, but also a lot of you guys probably don't know my origins and um, they come from the Super Smash Brothers community. And that's kind of why I, I, I'm making this video today. Now, of course, I still plan on having a 500K special, you know, uh, soon, uh, which is crazy. Uh, seeing as though we're past that now, thankfully. Awesome, enough. But, um, when I got this game, it was kind of just a mashup of random Nintendo characters fighting it out. I don't mean random, excuse me. They're not really random. They're they're purposefully placed in there. They're they're ahead of their franchises. But what I'm what I meant is like the just idea of it, of these fighting game character these these Nintendo characters fighting it out in a fighting game was just really random. And it stuck with me and I loved it, right? And throughout the years, I would always have theories of who could be next. You know, some dream concepts of uh, different characters from other franchises. Obviously, those were things that were never going to come true because um, once, you know, 64 came out, all Nintendo. Melee came out, all Nintendo. But then Brawl hit. And then we got introduced to Sonic and Snake and the idea that there can be maybe more than just Nintendo duking it out. And then they had PlayStation All-Stars, which honestly was pretty garbage. It was fun for the first two months, but they could have done so much more to make it so much better, and they didn't. But anyways, those kind of gave us even bigger ideas of what could be next. How could we implement other characters? Is it possible? Would Sakurai go, to, to what lengths would Sakurai go to, to put in amazing characters in this game? In exactly one hour from this video being recorded, Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII is about to debut in Super Smash Bros. Now, we don't know if we're gonna be able to play him today, but uh, we will be able to see a 35 minute stream of his moveset and probably other depressing things like seeing Sora's me outfit costume uh, and my dreams will be crushed, but Sephiroth's in the game confirmed, so I still get some type of W out of all of this. They used to, I used to play these things called Mugen, right, online, where you'd have just a collection of random sprites that people would make, and, uh, uh, you know, they'd be like Broly versus, I don't know, uh, uh, Mario, or, or something, it'd be something, or, or Homer Simpson, you know what I'm saying, versus uh, uh, um, uh, Peter Griffin from Family Guy. Just funny stuff that would go crazy, and, and people always wanted to see those crazy matchups in Smash. And then over the course of Brawl, Smash 4, and Ultimate, we're getting those. Once Cloud got brought in in Smash 4, that opened the, the world to, wow, this could be something, right? We we thought Snake and, and Sonic were kind of the, the predecessors of it all, which they were, but when Cloud got in, that told the world, holy crap. He can get it, cause cause Final Fantasy was pretty much a, a PlayStation thing, right? Square Enix was just pretty much a PlayStation thing, and the fact that they were willing to just do, you know, uh, um, side with Nintendo for to um, collab with them to do this Smash stuff, they said, who else could? Wh what can Sakurai not do at this point? Who can he not get? This is amazing, and I've always, always, always wanted Sora in this game from Kingdom Hearts or Sephiroth because Sephiroth was the antagonist of Final Fantasy VII, which is, Final Fantasy VII is kind of the reason why I play video games in the first place. Playing that game when I was like 11 years old was like the highlight of my life. Again, um, 
I didn't understand many concepts of it because it was uh, about like eco terrorists and mega, mega, uh, mega corporations and things of that nature. And uh, I was 11 year old kid. But uh, so a lot of that went over my head. It wasn't until maybe four or five years later, I started to really understand what that was. And so Final Fantasy VII kind of evolved with me as I aged, which is weird to say because it was always just that same game. I just evolved and understood the same game um, better, I guess. <laughs> so it was like, it, it felt like the game kept continuing as I continued, but uh, it was always just the same game until of course Final Fantasy VII Remake came out. And the idea that I can look back and think of a time where we would just pretend on smash boards or other forums before Twitter and Instagram were, were alive. Um, really before YouTube was even a big thing, we would just pretend these random matchups of uh, Master Chief versus, I don't know, Dora the Explorer. Shoot, I don't know. But <laughs> the fact that we can have Sephiroth fighting Minecraft Steve or Sephiroth fighting Kirby or like Bayonetta fighting a uh, solid snake. You know, I don't understand how it got to this point, but I'm so grateful it did. And really this video is just me being very happy and thankful. And I guess an apology in some way, because I, I wanted to make up more videos, uh, which I will, I should still have some like a skit, hopefully um, Friday or Saturday. But, um, and I know I didn't have, uh, I didn't record my reaction to the actual uh, release. Um, but if you want to join me for my reaction to the actual uh, gameplay of him, uh, I will be streaming soon, probably after this video is done. So go over to my Twitch. I'll have it linked in the description and whatnot. And guys, I'm just so happy. I'm honestly just so happy. It's a great time for gamers. Now I know the CDPR stuff has been kind of crazy and there's a lot of controversy and divisiveness around cyberpunk. Um, and honestly, the only thing I can really say to anyone who, who wants to get the game, it, uh, Get at your own discretion. Um, again, I said in the previous video, if you have a uh, PlayStation 5 or a pretty good graphics card on PC, I think you'll I think you'll be happy, you know, depending upon your threshold for bugs. But if you have a PS4 or Xbox or anything like that, the graphics, just the, the frame rate, it's, it's just very, very bad. It's very bad. Um, but I, I do believe that game um, has, has the fundamental grounding to be a generational game in the next six months, seven months, after all those patches. So take that how you will. But guys, hope you guys are doing well and thanks for understanding and sorry about the camera. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll see y'all on Twitch. Y'all take care, peace. Or that's just crazy.